What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Eye Advice Vids and this is Tweak Recap. And if you're not familiar with this series, I've run up five of the best city tweaks that are currently available in Cydia. Let's begin. And the first tweak I'm going to show you is called Hermes. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And this tweak is a new quick reply solution for iOS. And when you are using this tweak, you could enable quick reply for the stock messages app in iOS, Kick, and WhatsApp. You can configure which of those services do function with this tweak. And how you configure that is you go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see Hermes. And once you found it, you want to go in there. Inside here, you have the ability to enable or disable messages, kick, or WhatsApp. So of course, enable the options that you want here, then scroll down and select Respring to apply the changes. You can see that I have messages on, so I'm going to go ahead and send myself an iMessage from my phone. And as soon as I do receive it, you're going to notice on the banner, there is a reply button in the upper right hand corner. And all you have to do is just select that button in the upper right hand corner that says reply. And then you're presented with this text box. And of course, you could just type your reply into this box and have the message sent off within seconds. Now, there is one problem that I found with this tweak. And it's that on the actual application, the badge does not go away even after you've replied to the message through the banner. And the same thing with Notification Center. If you swipe down, you're still going to see the message that you replied to in Notification Center. And to get the message to leave Notification Center or your app, you actually have to open the Messages app and then close it. And then, of course, the badge will be gone. And in Notification Center, the message will be gone. However, other than that, I haven't found any problems with this tweak. And I also wanted to let you know that this tweak does not work from the lock screen. It's only from banner notifications. So, of course, you can quick reply from the home screen or any application, but again, not from the lock screen. And that's not a bug. That's just not how this tweak's intended to work. And something else I wanted to mention is if the application that you're quick replying with is not active, this tweak will not work. So the app has to be running. For example, if I double tap the home button and kill the messages app and I receive an iMessage, I'm not going to be receiving the reply button in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and send myself another iMessage here. And you're going to notice at the top of the banner, there's no reply button. And again, that is because I killed the messages app. If I open up the messages app, then close it and then send myself another iMessage, I'm going to receive the reply button again. So now I'm just going to send myself another iMessage and this time you're going to notice that the reply button is back as you can see and of course I can use quick reply. So again just make sure that the application that you're quick replying with is running. And that's all for this tweak. Once again it's called Hermes. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And the next tweak I'm going to show you is called HUD Speed. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will allow you to customize how fast the HUD volume pop up as you can see fades in and how fast it fades out. You can see it fades in really fast and fades out really fast. That's currently how I have it set up, but you can configure it for yourself in settings. And you can scroll down until you do see HUD speed and go in there. And here, of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. And beneath that, you have a speed slider. As you can see, mine's currently set to the minimum, but you can customize it to your liking. I'll turn it up to the maximum right now. And you can see now when I tap the volume buttons, you're going to notice it stays for a long time because, again, it's at the maximum. Now I'm going to aim for somewhere in the middle, like here. And you can see it does last longer, but it's not quite as long, of course. I personally prefer it at the minimum. I think that works the best. It gives you an idea of where you are on the volume scale, but it doesn't take up too much time. And that's all for this tweak. Once again, it's called HUD Speed. It's available in Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to show you is called Listening Launcher. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will allow you to quickly launch the application that is currently playing media with an activator action. And after you have installed the tweak on your device, you're going to need to set it up. And how you do that is through Activator. So you're going to want to go ahead and open up Activator on your device and just choose a gesture. I recommend going to Anywhere and again, just scroll down until you find a gesture that you want to use. I'm going to use a triple press of the home button. And as soon as you enter a gesture, you're going to see Listening Launcher. Just go ahead and select that, and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the music app here and start playing some music. And I'm going to exit out, and now I'm going to go ahead and shuffle tap the home button, and it's going to open up the music app. And there you go, as you can see, it just opened up the music app. And it could be another app, for example, let's say settings, and I shuffle tap the home button, it'll bring me right over to music just like that. This also does work from the lock screen as long as you don't have a passcode or a touch ID enabled. So I'm going to go to the lock screen here, and I'm going to show you that it works. So here I am on the lock screen, and I can triple tap my home button just like this, and it opens up the music app. And when I just did that, my device was awake on the lock screen, and that doesn't have to be. So I can go to the lock screen here, and as you can see, my device is completely asleep, and I can just triple tap the home button right from this state, and it opens up the music app. And that's all for this tweak. There's no further settings to configure, and again, it's called Listening Launcher. It's available in Cydia for free.
And the next week I'm going to show you is called Slide to Reboot. It's available on Stadia for free. And it's to allow you to reboot your device in a really quick and native way. And how you actually reboot once you've installed the tweak is you hold down the power button on your device just like this is if you're going to power off your device. However, once the drop down menu appears, all you have to do is just tap on the knob once and you can see it changes from slide to power off to slide to reboot. The text changes from slide to power off to slide to reboot and the knob logo changes. On the left of the logo, you're going to notice there's an arrow indicating that the device will reboot as opposed to just powering off. And if you tap the knob again, it's going to go back to power off mode. So you can switch between the modes just like this by tapping the knob. And of course, if you slide to reboot, your device will reboot immediately. And of course, if you slide to power off, your device will power off immediately, just like it normally does. That's all for this tweak. There's no options to configure. And again, it's called Slide to Power Off. It's available in Cydia for free. And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to show you is called Screen Locker. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will allow you to temporarily lock up the screen on your device. And this could be from anywhere. It could be on the home screen, inside an app, on the lock screen. But again, you're not going to be able to interact with your device while the screen is locked. And after you have installed the tweak on your device, you're gonna to wanna to go into Activator and just select a gesture that you wanna use. I recommend going to Anywhere and just scrolling down until you find a gesture that again, you wanna use for this. I'm gonna use a triple press of the home button, so I'm gonna go in there. Then you will see Screen Locker. Just select it and then you're ready to go. And I'm just gonna exit out of Activator here and I'm gonna lock up this home screen page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and triple tap the home button. And it is very faint, but you may notice that there is a red border on my screen, and that's how you know your device is locked. And of course, you can't interact with your device in this mode, you can't open anything. However, I have found that for some reason you could open up Control Center, I'm not sure why that is. And you can't close it with a swipe gesture, you have to tap the home button. And Notification Center is also accessible for some reason, again, you can't actually interact with it, you can just tap the home button to dismiss. I'm not sure why that is, but again, you can't actually interact with anything. And something else that you have semi-access to in locked mode is the app switcher. So you can double tap the home button and again you have access to the app switcher. But of course you can't interact with anything. And the same thing goes for Siri. You can hold down the home button and have Siri access in locked mode. And again to dismiss all these things when you're in locked mode. If you go into the app switcher, Siri, notification center, or control center. Is you just tap the home button to get back to the home screen or whichever application you're locked inside of. And to exit out of this mode, just repeat the activator gesture again. In my case, it's a triple tap the home button just like this, and then the red border will go away, and of course you can interact with your device again. And I'm going to lock up my device again. This time I'm going to do it inside an app. And the reason I want to do this is because I'm going to show you one more feature in locked mode. So I'm going to go inside the settings app here, and I'm going to triple tap the home button, and you can see there's the red border. It did appear, and of course I can't interact with my device at this point. And the feature that I wanted to show you is that you could password protect your device from being unlocked when it's in locked mode. For example, again, I'm in locked mode right now, and if I wanted to, I could password protect this. So the only way that I'd be able to exit out of locked mode is with a particular password. And how you do that is you just tap and hold on anywhere on the screen when you're in locked mode. And then you're going to be prompted with this box here, and you can just put in any password. I'm just going to put in test for right now and select lock. And now the only way that I'm going to be able to exit out of locked mode is with that particular password. And how you unlock it is you could just tap and hold on anywhere on the screen like this. And it's going to prompt you to put in your password. And if I get it wrong, I'll just put in a bunch of random characters and select unlock. You can see it's not doing anything. It's not letting me access the device. Same thing when I shovel tap the home button, it's going to prompt me to put in my password. And I'm just going to put it in right. Again, test for me. I'll select unlock and immediately I'm able to access the device. And unfortunately, you're not able to have a permanent password every single time you lock your device. You're going to need to put in a new password to unlock it. So again, if I were to lock my device again here. Okay, so here I am in locked mode, and I'm going to tap and hold on anywhere on the screen. And you can see it's prompting me to create a new password. So every single time you lock your device and want to use a password, you have to create a new password. You can still use the other password if you just want to continuously use the same password, but you just have to re-enter it every single time, which can be tedious if you're locking your device repeatedly with a password. And I also wanted to mention that this has nothing to do with the passcode on your device, it's completely unrelated. I also wanted to let you know that if you select lock right now with nothing typed in, that is an acceptable password for this tweak. It does actually accept that, so if I were to chill tap the home button or tap and hold in the middle of the screen like this, it's going to ask me to unlock, I could just select unlock again because there is no password, it's gonna accept that as a proper unlock password. Obviously there's no use in doing that, but the tweak does accept no characters as a password. And once again, this tweak's called Screen Locker. It's available in Cydia for free. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.